Hi everyone. Today we will learn how to create graphs with the help of the available data. What could be the what kind of graphs we can prepare in eViews? So let me start. First of all, let me close all these things. I'm just closing. And this is also I'm closing. And uh, now I will open a new file. We have already understand in the past videos, we will open foreign data as work file. Because I want to use one file that is available, same file I'm using that I had used in my previous videos. That's available this file, that particular file I have put it in this folder. And this is my file name. And let me open this file. You can see here, next, next, okay, fine, and next. And finally, we are going to finish this. And we will say no. And uh, this is my, you can see all these variables are available over here, FDI, GDP, inflation. So let me select all these three variables and I would like uh, not individual one. I would like to open as a group. So I had opened this file as a group. Now we would understand how we are going to create graphs. So let me press here view. Then we will see here is graph. We will go there in this graph and you can see basic graph because that is selected a number of types of graphs. You can see bar graph, spike, area, and so on. So first of all, let's see, I just want to create line and symbol. Then I would press OK. You can see this kind of graph that would be we have created. Now I think visibility is more clear. And this is our line graph. Then further, I want to see my data in the form of the graph only, but not like that. I want to see this graph should be bar, bar chart. Now you can see how beautifully this bar chart has been created. And further, I want a new graph that is, you can say, spike. And let me press OK. You can see this chart is spike. Further, I want to, and so on, you can create uh, these kind of charts. Let's say you want to create box plot. You have to click here and you will press OK. And then you can see this is our box plot. But you can see here, let's say I want to create a single graph and multiple graphs. Right, not single graph. I want, let's say, multiple graphs. Then you can see all these graphs you can see. I mean, this is FDI, this is GDP, this is inflation. Further, I want to show you there is, let's say you want bubble plot. And simply I would press and you can see this is bubble plot is created. And further, we can see here, let's say you want to create dot plot and simply we are going to create dot plot. All this is for FDI, this is for GDP and this is for inflation. Further, we would understand how to interpret all these graphs in my next coming up videos. And uh, <clears throat> let's say you want to see scatter graph, then simply you have to press OK. And you can see this is the scatter chart in between GDP and FDI. And this one is in between inflation and FDI. And uh, further, suppose we want graphs. And uh, you can see here, <clears throat> there is, there is, you can see here, like categorical graph that facility is also available here. Let's say you want to create pie chart and simply I would press this is my pie chart right but this is default I don't want to see this kind of pie chart I want to see differentiated you can see how well differentiated this kind of pie chart you can see year wise that is reflecting 
Further, I would like to say percentage change. So you can see this is the percentage change of FDI, percentage change of GDP, percentage change of inflation. Further, I want to say that is the year, right? Year-wise percentage change, right? And further, I want to say, let's say, log differentiated. And uh, you can create raw data, right? In that form, you had already seen default. We have, I have already shown. So in that way, you can create various kinds of graphs. And uh, further, let's see, I want to create, yes, quantile and this one is quantile and quantile and let me press. So, this kind of graph you can create. It. Further, let's say I want to create, here is bubble chart we have done, pie chart we have done, box plot, yes, x by bar and I just want to press this. And suppose you don't want to, again, there is and there is a number of options. You can see here, this one is the, uh, this graph, I just want to create it. And further, you can see here, again, all the options are available. Percentage change and further is percentage, you can see these kind of options are available. And further, let's say I want to use this one is the chart. Let's say this one is the dot plot. You can see dot plot. This is my dot plot chart. And uh, but this is the percentage change. And suppose I would say default. So it would be like this. And uh, further, if I would say this kind of dot plot chart but I want is multiple graphs and you can press here then you can see in that way. Otherwise it will show you a single graph and uh, further we can see mixed. Yes, of course, suppose this is the mixed graph and that is the default one and uh, this one is the raw data and default one that is the same percentage change you can see here and further percentage change in AR and uh, further is so I mean in that way you can create these kind of graphs. So I hope this video will be helpful how you are going to create graphs using e-views and that is the with the help of you can create very beautiful graphs. So I'm sure this video would be helpful. Keep watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.